So Mr. Swift, tell me how your day has been. It's been interesting, a lot of fun, a lot of people. And are you coming to the end of your, uh, your event? What do you think you have achieved today? Well, I don't think it's so much achieving. I think it's, you know, the reality that people understand the care and the awareness is getting out there. And that, I think, is my major goal. Okay. Now, you said that um, by the end of... This will be the last event you were organizing in terms of fundraising during your trip. Yes. Let me know how many events you've organized like this since you started traveling and what is the experience you've had? Well, this is the 15th time that I've done. Would you guys like to put up a balloon? It's a cancer awareness thing. Sure. You can put up a balloon for, you know, someone you know. Nothing. Oh, yes, we would love to. And grab a bee. Oh, awesome. Hello. Hi, how are you? Doing good, and you? Good. Come here, Cooper. Don't forget that question. Here. I'm here. Do you want a bee? Be there you go. Sammy. I'm gonna do one for my grandma. She actually, Beautiful. she just died. Oh, oh. Um, Sorry. She had cancer too. She oh had, no. She had it in her colon, and she died from it. The colon? The colon? Uh, yeah, she had. Oh. Yeah, she had like one of those uh, colonoscopy. Isn't where you shit in bed? Yeah. Oh, oh. She just, she had that, and then finally it just ended up. Sorry. It's okay, we're all gonna die. Absolutely, but it's good to die when you're, it's your time. Right? Yeah, she died at home, so she was happy. Okay. Well, not happy, but... How long ago? How long ago? A month, a month ago? Yeah, just a month ago. A month ago. Oh, yeah. boy. Wow. Yeah, just a month ago. You're biking yeah. around the America? Yeah. 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 He's gone all over the States. All over. Like I need to get rid of that one. Because cool. I can't flip the finger, but I can do that. That's good. <laughs> or I can do it. Yeah. 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 yeah, the bike has been over, let's see, 8,000 miles, maybe a little more. That's cool. Are you going to go on the coast anywhere? Yeah, home to Oregon. Well, you should stop by the wellness center in Fort Bragg. It's 101 North Franklin. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not going that way. I'm heading up the 101 all the way. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Well, if you do go on the stop by there. It's cool. Wow. I work there. So you live in Willits or live here? Um, I live in Fort Bragg. Oh, okay. I want to move to Willits, but it'll eventually happen. <laughs> okay. But we'll leave it shortly. Yeah. Yeah? yeah. Beautiful. But eventually, I really want to move here. Or like, you can tie out a little bit. I love the weather. Yeah. Wow. Fort Bragg. It's too moody. What? It's too moody. That'd be so cool. <laughs> yeah, no, Fort Bragg just sucks for the weather. It's like always foggy and... Yeah. You know, you're... I'm just going to the strip on the event. 
Yes. About being the last and so on. Yes. From here, you've had 14 events. This is the 15th. Yes. And what has been your experience so far with all the events you've had, generally? Well, each event is different. Each city is different. And, you know, the population, the activities going on during that week and stuff, I just kind of pop in, pop out, you know, and that's how you have the uh, events. I have never, ever had to have a permit for any of the events because the city kind of wavered that. Um, the cities all have been pretty good about allowing me to have each event. And um, it's been pretty awesome. What is the city that has contributed the most in what um, you've been doing? Raleigh, California. Raleigh, California has a Mexican population, and it seems that the Mexican population actually has a lot of cancer people involved. And um, they need awareness just as much as everybody else. They're human. Which, which experience you have that wasn't that very comfortable or smiling like your smiley... What's his name again? Smiley. Smiley. <laughs> it would have to be Redding, California. Not one person showed up to my event. Did what? Not one person showed up to my event. In Redding? In Redding, California. But the thing was, okay, the reason was because I did it during the Relay for Life also. I didn't know that they were having a Relay for Life. You will be going back home. What next? I believe there's some rest. Two weeks of rest, maybe a little longer. A trip to Maui, a book being written. A trip to the PCT, which is to the press trail, with my daughter and another young lady. Uh, next year, a trip from Alaska to Argentina on a bike ride for the same cause, cancer awareness. A lot of things. So you're planning on taking on another trip again? Yes. To where? From Alaska. Nome, Alaska, actually. Why did you choose Alaska? Because that's the first point north. Okay. Makes sense. Okay. And um, when do you plan on writing your book? Um, as soon as we get back from Maui. Okay. And what is the title of the book? Rabbit in Red. Rabbit? In Red. Why that? My daughter thought of it. Okay. In Savannah, let me explain that for a second. Savannah, Savannah Lynch, swear, she was actually in a car accident that killed my wife. And she had to learn everything again. She had to relearn life again. She's an inspiration to me. She's an inspiration to my town. She's an inspiration to a lot of people. And so anything that comes out of her mouth is very important. And I listen carefully. And it was her idea for the bike ride. Nobody else is hers. So when she mentioned, you know, a title for the book, that was it. Okay. And she's still alive now? Yes, she's 20 years old. Feisty. A young, feisty young girl. Okay. Very good though. Well, um, what is your impression about Ukiah? What do you think, being here for almost a week? I think the people of Ukiah are awesome, cool. But I think the government part of a Ukiah needs some work on it. I mean, I've been telling a few people that, you know, doing this event and not only doing this event, me as a person biking around America, you figured that they would offer some kind of, you know, lodging or something like that. And I'm just a little appalled by that. So you didn't get any financial support or a place to lodge from the county? No, just, just, just this. But I wasn't looking for it, you know, but it would just would have been nice to stay on it. Okay. Now tell me a little bit about your family. When you took off, started traveling, you left a family behind. Well, I left my sister and my two daughters. Um, that was really hard on me, but we kept in contact every single day by phone. I love Savannah and Lacey, my two daughters, and my sister Teresa, and Teresa was actually taking care of Savannah for me. Lacey's in college, so she's too much able to take care of herself. But um, I really didn't leave it behind. I mean, we contact each other basically every day through phone and text, and they did come and visit, you know, every now and then on the trip and rode with me. So, yes, they were very supportive, and they wanted me to do this. 
and they thought that it was a great idea for me not only to get over what I would call depression, but also maybe my cancer too. But you haven't physically seen them for four years? No, I physically seen them just three months ago. Okay. Did, did you travel back or they came and met you? No, they came to visit me. Okay, where was that? I haven't been home in over four years. Yeah, I mean, where did they come and visit you? Where did you oh, get... Oh, Illinois. Nam, Illinois. That was okay. the last I seen them. That was three months ago. Okay. Physically seen them. Okay. But, um... You know, they got their own lives. I mean, Savannah... I don't even know if she'll have a life. That's kind of scary. What? Because of her, you know... I don't want to say her mental illness, because she wasn't born with that. Her handicap. From the accident? Yeah. Yeah, you know, I'm always kind of worried about her, you know. Am I going to be a good dad? What am I going to do, you know, with her and so on? And it's a big concern, you know. And this trip, you know, I finally talked to somebody about it. I talked to a police officer, actually, you know. He was, um, he was... He was in a store and I met him and stuff and um, he sat down with me and he was in uniform and we sat down, had a coffee together, you know, and um, I told him, I said, I think I finally figured out why I've been on the road so long. And I said, you know, the loneliness of being alone, not having a wife anymore. You know, I had to figure out and that was the truth, you know, that, you know, that was my big thing that I, I lost her, my wife, you know, and I just didn't want to go home because I knew I was going to go home. And then to take care of Savannah for the rest of probably my life, okay, not so much her life, but my life, it's just hard on me because, you know, I don't know if, I just did over four years on a stupid bicycle, you know? What about being a dad forever? You know, do that. Mm -hmm. Love and caring isn't going to cut it, you know? So yeah, it's been hard. It's been difficult. But I had to figure out all that. I had to face a lot. And I did. Do you know anybody that's suffered from cancer and survived or passed away? You're welcome to put a balloon with their name on it. Mm -hmm. And that's what the, you know, the different colors are for the different forms of cancer. So. Yeah, you just blow up a balloon, or if you don't want to blow up a balloon, we'll blow it up for you. How much you got? How much? Two. Three. Three. Oh, no, for the for the. For it's the, free for the balloon. Three. And two free. for the raffle. But two there's a raffle apple. you can win. Win. Um, T-shirt. T-shirt. And. And there's also cards, like oh, gift cards, cards like gift from cards local merchants for like fifteen, twenty, thirty. $35 Look, we should, we come on to. Mm -hmm. uh, limited edition. Okay, let's do it. Let me model foundation. Okay. It is money for, for the 